Bhagavad Gita, text 4.38 There is nothing here that is as purifying as transcendental knowledge. One who is perfect in yoga realizes this wisdom within himself in due course. The word iha here refers to this world. Inner wisdom is the purest thing in this world. Iha can also refer to the sacrificial practices mentioned previously. Among all varieties of sacrificial acts, it is the wisdom that arises from them that justifies their performance. Thus, Krishna stresses that realized knowledge awakens naturally within one who has learned how to acquire that knowledge from a seer by engaging himself under that seer's direction. Realized knowledge will awaken within the practitioner of its own accord, as his heart becomes purified. Krishna speaks next of the relationship between fate and knowledge. <laughs> 